In this tutorial video we're going to have a look at sketching cubic equations. So the question is asking us to sketch the following cubic equations showing all intercepts with the coordinate axes. Well I think, in my opinion, this is a four step process. Step one, find the x intercepts or roots as they're called and they occur when y equals zero. Step two, find the y-intercept, and that happens when x equals zero. Step three, decide whether the graph of the cubic is positive, in which case the shape is probably going to be like that, or negative in which case the shape is going to be something like that there. Then step four, draw axes, then sketch. So let's take this first example here, part one. It says y equals x plus three, x minus two, and times x minus 1. Now notice that all of these examples are nice and factorised. It might be feasible in an exam that you have to factorise it yourself, but for the purposes of understanding we're only going to be working with factorised equations here. And we want y to be equal to 0. Okay, so the x-intercepts, well since it's nice and factorised, the things that make this 0, we can say x equals minus 3, x equals 2, and x equals 1. Okay, the y-intercepts happen when x equals 0, so x equals 0, which means that y equals 0 plus 3, which is 3, times 0 minus 2, which is minus 2, times 0 minus 1, which is minus 1, equaling 6. So now decide whether it's a positive or a negative cubic. Well, the way to do that, let's multiply out just the x terms and see if we end up with a positive x or negative x. So x times x times x, all three of them positive, make a positive x cubed graph. So that's what we're going to draw. So we've got all that information now, now it's just left to draw it. So notice I'm using a ruler and pencil. And that way, if I make any mistakes with my cubic, then I can just rub it out and have a better attempt. So the x-intercept is at minus 3, then there's 1 and 2, so 1 and 2. But notice the question asks, show all in, uh, showing all intercepts with the coordinate axes, I'm going to give them as coordinates, so that's minus 3, 0, 1, 0, and 2, 0. Now I'm not actually going to draw the y-intercept on yet, you'll see why in just a second. So we've got a positive x cubed graph, that means the shape's going to be roughly like that, so let's get drawing this. And what makes this a good sketch is it's continually getting steeper. Here and here, we'll have no straight lines. Some of the wrong graphs that I quite often see from students are ones that look like that. So that's a portion of a straight line there, that looks, so that would lose marks. Or graphs that look like they're going to go back on themselves. Here's an exaggerated version of another. Not so good graph. And this bit, the graph coming back on itself here and coming back on itself here, that would lose marks as well. This should be how you draw the cubic graphs. And now, rather than trying to aim for a target on the y-axis, the fact that it's crossed there, I can just label this as 0, 6, and there, that's worth all the marks. So let's do the other two. So part two, why well it was x plus uh, three squared, x minus four. Let's do that one. Y equals x plus three squared, x minus four. So let's get the x intercepts. Well, actually, if I write that out in full, that's x plus three, x plus three, 
x minus 4, and we want where y equals 0. So I can see here that x equals minus 3, x equals minus 3, and x equals 4. Three roots, although two of them are the same here, we've got a double root. We'll show how to deal with that in just a second. The y-intercept, when x equals 0, which means that y equals, okay, 0 plus 3 is 3, 0 plus 3 is 3, and 0 minus 4 is minus 4. So 3 times 3 is 9, times minus 4 is minus 36 is our y-intercept. And timesing all the x's together, we see that we end up with a positive x cubed. So the shape is going to be something like that. So let's draw the axes. Nice and big, ruler and pencil. Okay, so the intercepts are at minus 3. Another one at minus 3. And one at 4. So let's try and draw it. So, here, the double root, what it does when we, when we find a double root, it just touches the graph, then turns back on itself instantly. So the two roots happen at the same time. So, like that, just touches, then goes back. And this part of the graph here isn't very good. I'm going to rub that out. I can do better than that. That's a lot better there. So here, minus 3. 0 is a root, 4, 0 is a root, the other intercept here is 0, minus 36. Notice that the scale isn't very good, but for the purposes of a sketch it doesn't matter. And that's that one done, that's all the marks gained. If I would be ultra critical, I can say that this bit here sort of looks like it's going to curve round a bit, so if I just rub that bit out there, then there's no issue anymore. Right, next one, y equals 7 minus x cubed, so let's write it out in full, 7 minus x, 7 minus x, 7 minus x, and the x-intercepts or roots happen when it's equal to 0, so hopefully you can see here that when x equals 7, the bracket is 0, this one as well, x equals 7, x equals 7. And here you can see we've got a triple root. So three roots at x equals 7. Now the y-intercept is when x equals 0. So we end up with 7 times 7 times 7. So putting that into a calculator, 7 cubed is equal to 343. And times in the x's together, we've got minus x times minus x times minus x, which gives us minus x cubed. So actually, this is a negative graph, so it's going to have this shape, potentially. Okay, so now drawing the roots, sorry, drawing the axes and putting on the roots. Nice and big, pencil so we can rub it out later if need be. So we've got three roots at x equals 7. So for a double root, what happened was it turned round on itself and just touched the axis. For a triple root, what happens? So drawing that the wrong way there. It starts from here. So it almost goes as if it's going to turn back on itself. But then it changes its mind again and ends up like that. So here, the graph must be flat if you had to get all the marks. So that's at 7, 0. And the y-intercept is 0, 3, 4, 3. So the graph must go flat there for a triple root. So it looks like it's going to turn back on itself and go up. But actually then it changes its mind and goes down again. 
So that's that one. Then finally, last one, part four. We get y equals 4 minus x, x minus 2, x minus 5. So the roots are at x equals 4, x equals 2, and x equals 5. The y-intercept, when x equals 0, is 4 minus 0, 0 minus 2, and 0 minus 5. So 4 times minus 2 is minus 8, times minus 5 is 40. And then multiplying the x terms together, x minus x times x is x squared, times another x is minus x cubed. So it's another negative graph, so a graph that starts at the top left. Drawing the axis. So we see there's no double or triple roots here. Should be a nice straightforward one to draw. Okay. So the three roots occur at 4, 2, and another one at 5. So we've got 4, sorry, 2, 0, 4, 0, and 5, 0. And we know that the graph starts, because negative starts, top left. So coming down like that, go through one root, then back up again, back down again like that. So this could be a bit curvier. Yep, that's better. And the y-intercept is 0x coordinate. 40 y coordinate and that's that done for more videos like this subscribe to our youtube channel or go to a-levelmathsrevision.com